that's when nilijipata in a mob justice yani nilifanya mpaka nikajipata mochari because they thought i was dead but sikwa nimekufa uh what happened is maiti kawaida huwa bleed lakini mtu atakufa ata bleed so mimi nilipatikana kwa mochari but sikwa nimekufa i was still bleeding na my first mob justice because nilikuwa nimeumia na risasi mm-hmm. haikunipata that deep mm-hmm. but iliniumiza kwa spinal cord na the same time nikapatana na mob justice of which serikali ndio walini save na serikali kuni save walifikiria huyu sasa ameisha nikapelekwa mortuary but i wasn't dead na because uh, kuna mtu alikuwa anajua kwetu mimi ni nani mm. so hawakuni attend size waliniacha tu hapo venye nilikuja kupata fahamu niliona wa niko mog na watu wamekufa nao wenye wamekufa nilikuwa nao tukienda kufanya sin mm. sasa nilichukuliwa tu nikafungwa but under treatment nimefungwa lakini natibiwa because hata wajui natoka wapi mimi ni nani lakini uh, at some point government hizi kubali ukufe so good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on time you are tuned in from this channel karibu sana kwa hapa kwa channel ya Murudi TV na nakushukuru sana kwa kwa mmoja wetu hivi leo nataka nikushukuru na nikupongeze kwa kwa mmoja wetu if it's your first time here kindly make sure you subscribe kwa hii channel na leo nataka tusome vitu mbili zi have been questions Bang, bangi dawa za kulevya guns zinatoka wapi i want to listen this story from this beautiful lady here with me in the studio amekuja tupige story aniambia zile vitu amepitia vitu kwa amefanya kwa life the crime she has committed and so much more the things she has done in life vitu zitakubadilishia maisha hebu tukae chini we learn one two also if you have a story to share with me or anything you do want to talk to me kindly nipigie simu namba yangu itakuwa inatembea kwa screen yako all through nipigie simu tukae chini tuongee na Mungu ataweza kutusaidia sana kindly let's listen to this beautiful story so yes habari yako nzuri sana Mhm. Ah, uh, wewe kwa majina yako unaitwa nani? Naitwa Kimberly Williams. Kimberly Williams. Na yes. Kimba, Kimberly, ningetaka maybe uangalie kamera pale hivi, usalimie mm-hmm. uh, watu za maji wetu. Mm-hmm. Then uh, tuendelee tujue Kimberly alizaliwa wapi, ameishi wapi, amesoma, ameolewa, wajaolewa. Tukujue zaidi ndo tusikie story yako. Okay so wa mtazamaji na kusalimu habari mm-hmm. yako I hope uko poa mm-hmm. mimi niko poa mm-hmm. na mshukuru Mungu kwa uzima mm-hmm. mm. Kimberly yes ulizaliwa wapi uh, nimezaliwa Siaya County Siaya County yes mm-hmm. mm. na uka grow Siaya County uh, until nikiwa na miaka kumi. Kimbali ulizaliwa peke yako ama uko na brother na sisters mom na dad wako Nimetoka kwa familia ya watoto tisa I'm the first born Watoto tisa Yes and you are the first born Yes Ikakuaje Ah <laughs> uh, mama walipas wakati alikuwa anajifungua mtoto wetu wa tisa pole na tukabaki na baba yetu Mhm na sasa baba alibaki ni mmoja tu. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo hangelea watoto wote tisa. Na alikuwa na mtoto huyu pia mdogo mm-hmm. ni yeye amle. Mm-hmm. So babangu hange manage kulea watoto tisa akiwa peke yake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so mimi nilichukuliwa na dada na mamangu nikakuja Nairobi. Mm-hmm. But mimi nilikuwa najua nitakuja kwenda shule. Of which hiyo haikufanyika tena. Wah. Wow. Okay. Mm. 
nilifika Nairobi nikapata aunti yangu ni mwezaji wa madawa za kulevya na napika pombe sasa mimi nikakuwa mwezaji wa madawa za kulevya nikiwa na miaka kumi si kuendelea na shule ndugu hmm. zako dada zako umewacha ushago yes nimewacha ushago maana i'm the first one hmm. au wengine walibaki na baba ukiwa umri wa miaka kumi yes ukikuja ulikuwa na nia ya kusoma kuwatafutia hapana ilikuwa tu na nia ya mimi niendelee na shule because mm-hmm. nilikuwa ni mtoto mm-hmm. yes atulikuwa nilikuwa tu bado mimi ni mtoto oh, miaka kumi <laughs> ukamsikia vibaya nilikuwa na mtoto Apana. sasa he umeingia jiji sasa na ukakuja kwa aunti yako mwenye anauza madawa mm-hmm. life itakuwa vipi ilikuwa ngumu haikuwa rahisi ilikuwa ngumu sana because kwa wiki mbili za kwanza nilikaa vizuri nikaa vizuri alikuwa ananikaribisha vizuri lakini wiki ya tatu mm-hmm. akani introduce kwa kuuza madawa za kulevya sasa nilikuwa nampelekea madawa penye anataka ziende na nilizoea tu hivyo sasa nikaanza kuuza madawa uh, wakati nilikuwa naendelea tu kufanya hiyo kazi ya kuuza madawa nika nikajua sio mimi peke yangu tuko wengi sasa ikabidi tu sasa tuendelee na kuuza madawa ingawa sisi bado ni watoto. Ya yeah, na kama mimi ni msichana mm-hmm. kuna because alikuwa anapika hata pombe. Mm-hmm. Sasa maisha yangu haikuwa rahisi na mimi ni msichana na niko kwa environment kama hiyo. Sasa um, nilikuwa wanaume wanani wananitumia mm-hmm. mara nyingi. Kutumia kivipi? Mm. <laughs> Mara nyingi nilikuwa na bako na wanaume wenye wanakuja kutumia madawa za kulevya ama wenye wanakuja kunywa pombe. Pale kwa aunti yako. Pale kwa aunti yangu. Na aunti yako alikuwa anajua. Yeah, alikuwa anajua because the first time mimi nilimwambia hmm. aliniona nimejaa damu lakini hakushughulika. Oh, damu jua amekuumiza. Yeah. Niona tu nimejaa damu nikamuelezea. Pole acha hakushughulika hata si kwenda hospitali nilipona mm. tu so ikakuwa ni kitu inafanyika mara kwa mara na wakati nilichoka nilienda kuishi kama chokora mtaani sasa hivyo ndio venye mimi tu niliamua because hiyo nyumba inge ni contain kila siku unauza madawa unarudi unapata watu wameja na at the same time mimi ni mtoto kwa hivyo kila wakati nilikuwa najipata nimeumia sasa nikaamua kutoka kwa hii nyumba nikaendelea nikaenda kuishi mtaani mm-hmm. yes nikakuwa chokora sasa nilivumilia hiyo maisha kwa miaka mbili nilitoka kwa hiyo nyumba nikiwa na miaka kumi na mbili so aunti yako ange ku, ku, kupatia ulikuwa delivery person wa ku deliver na kwenda kuzipelekea watu na wanalipo na narudi. Yes. Yeye yeah, alikuwa na watoto. Alikuwa na mtoto mmoja. Lakini alikuwa mdogo sana. Okay. Yeah. Na hiyo time wakati wote hakulipi na hakupeleki shule. Ah, uh, mimi sijaenda shule tena kutoka hapo. Malipo yangu ilikuwa ni nikule na nilale. Umetoka kwa aunti umeenda kuishi kwa street. Life itakuwaje kwa street? Ah, uh, ilibidi ni zoete. Zoe maisha ya street. Because uh, watu wa street niliona wanapendana. Sasa mimi nilizoea tu kuisha hapo kwa street, nikazoea kufanya hizo kazi wanafanya kama ni kuokota machupa tunaenda tunauza, hivyo ndio venye mimi nilisurvive kwa street. But haikuwa rais, ilikuwa ngumu because society wanapenda kuita machokorani wezi sasa haikuwa rahisi unapata sometimes mm-hmm. watu watakuja wakuambie wewe ni mwezi na wewe ni mtoto sasa e, kuishi kwa street si rahisi haikuwa rahisi Ita, itabidi tu unazoea tu kuishi lakini si rahisi ni vitu kwa kama gani mlikuwa mnafanya kwa 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 
ama creme kama gani zilikuwa involved kwa street kwa street na street specific wapi like unajua kuna wale street ni za Nairobi street za Kayole Dandora nilikuwa aunt yangu alikuwa anaishi Madare mm-hmm. but mimi nilitoka nikaenda kuishi kwa street za town pale kariyako nilikuwa naishi tu hapo ah uh, crime zifanyika kwa street ju lazima au watoto wa survive mm-hmm. sasa unapata mara nyingi tulikuwa tunajinvolve na wizi naiba hizi vitu ndogo ndogo just for you to survive yes so crime kama hizo zifanyika um at some point so ume grow kwa street umefika uh, ulitoka kwa ntia kwa 12 years mm-hmm. at what point itafika u break ile ya i believe ni kama ku graduate ku graduate like kwa crime kuna kwa kama ile graduation maybe ungeiba tu ungefanya tu crime tu dogo tu dogo sasa hivi graduate umefanya crimes kubwa kubwa <laughs> ile inalingana ni muda gani umeishi hapo kwa street ukazoeana na watu waje mm. yeah ukazoeana na watu wa street aje at some point hakuna time ulijipata umetoka ume, una choose i'm tired of living in the street i want to go back to auntie's place actually by that time nili prefer kuishi kwa street than kuishi na auntie yangu because niliona kuishi kwa street i have some peace lakini kuishi kwa auntie yangu is a, a house of hell sasa inabidi ni choose kuishi kwa street than kuishi na auntie yangu natoka nitoke kwake hakuwahi nitafuta na hakuwahi njua naishi wapi okay <coughs> So wakati nilifikisha miaka kumi na nne nilikuwa nilibakwa na wanaume kama watano nikapata mimba the same time mama kando kando like sasa imepata naishi kwa street kwa hivyo nilibakwa tu kwa street ah uh, sasa mimi bahati mbaya ama mzuri nilipata mimba hmm. lakini mimi si kutoa mimba nililea tu mtoto My first born nimemzaa nikiwa na miaka 15. Nikajifungua kijana. Sasa shida zilianzia hapo. Ju hata kama nilikuwa naokota chupa, mm-hmm. ilinibidi sasa nisonge mbele. Ju nilikuwa naona tukiwa kwa street au wenye wanaokota chupa wana pesa. Lakini mtu anaenda kuiba kuna pesa. Mm-hmm. So nikajoin nikakuwa tu sasa mimi ni mwezi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sasa nilikuwa nafanya wizi for me to survive. Lakini sina hope maisha kwa street. Yes. Ee 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 wizi. Hm? Ee wizi tafanywa itafanyika like Unajua even us when we were growing up kulikuwa na ile tutabia tu kuiba tu shilingi shilingi. Yenu kwa street inafanyika kiaje wizi ina gani ni wizi ya kusnatch ni wizi ya kunyemelea kuvunja manyumba za watu ama ni wizi ina gani hmm. kuna wa kuvunja manyumba mm-hmm. kuna wa kusnatch mm-hmm. kuna wa kuiba at a gun point hizo ziko na kwa street anything is possible sasa ni wewe uchuzi uta survive aje kuna groups toka tofauti wenye unaweza fanya nao kazi kuna snatching naweza pata group nyingine na snatch simu vitu tu kwa street na unaweza pata wengine wanaenda wanavunja manyumba ya watu na wanauza vitu black market ama unaweza pata wengine tu ni wizi wanaweza hata enda wavunja mpesa yes. utaliaje mtoto kwa street kule mtoto hmm. itabidi ame survive <laughs> At some point ndio ifika unka feel I nataka I need to do away with her ama ndamtupa ama ndampeleka chibeni somo ni mwache huko Actually hiyo haikuwa i cross my mind Mimi si kwa ifikiria kutupa mtoto wangu lakini si kumlea Mimi nilikuwa namwacha tu hapo because 
by the time nilikuwa napata mtoto nilikuwa nisha join mimi natumia madawa za kulevya ni mpya mm-hmm. navuta glue na jidunga mashindano enzo na syringe so kulea mtoto kwangu ilikuwa ni kitu si kuifanya sasa mtoto wangu alikuwa analelewa na wa mama wa huka au wenye wako na kuanga town au ndo alikuwa ananilelewa mtoto mimi sijalea my first born mhm yes sasa wizi itafika place maybe i graduate to kutumia guns kutumia panga za mavisu mhm <laughs> yes maybe unaweza tupatia maybe incidents ev mm incident is sign ni pata ni mingi sana mm. because niliendelea ku grow kwa street na nikaendelea ku grow nikiwa mwezi Mm-hmm. Yes and incidents niliaji pata because si mara moja ama mbili tulikuwa tunapanga kwenda kuiba mahali. Unapata umepanga kuiba ka kamini kamini tuseme Mpesa mm. na mko na bunduki. Na hata mkiwa kwa barabara mtakutana na polisi, majao polisi wa majao town kila mahali. Mm. So unapata mnaenda mnaenda mahali mkifikira mtarudi wote na mtarudi wote wengine wanabakishwa. Sasa wewe tu ukisurvive ni Mungu tu lakini kuna wenye wanabaki. Najipata kwa incidents wengine wameuliwa wewe umeshikwa like mimi nimeshikwa mara sita. Six times arrest. Mm-hmm. Na nikapatikana kwa mob justice mara mbili. It mara sita utashikwa utashikwa kwa nini? Juu hiyo wizi Mhm. Kwa na shikwa juu ya wizi. Ah there's a time ni si kufungwa lakini nilikuwa nimefanya crime. Tulifika kotini judge akasema aamini kitu nimeambiwa ni mimi nafanya. Jua kimeangalia naona mimi niko tu innocent. Mm-hmm. So ajaamini kama ni mimi nimefanya that crime. Anaangalia baka age, size, yeah. body size. <laughs> Nilikuwa tu kadogo si kuangalia mwili hata. Sasa alikuwa anaangalia the size, the age, na kesi ameletewa. Aliniachilia tu akaniambia, akaambia watu, "Ai, huyu mtoto haizi fanya vitu kama hizi." But in reality, group yangu ndio tumefanya hivyo. Wengine walibakishwa, nika survive. So mimi nilishikwa tu. Where did you train to use gun? Kwa street. Hizi guns zinapanga kwa street watu wanatoa wapi? Mm. I have no idea. I can't really point finger ni sema zinatoka mali fulani. Mm-hmm. But guns kwa street utapata tu njia rais. So ziko. In your time ulikuwa mnapata kwa kuna kwa mtu individual ama mlikuwa mna call you na like venye na sianga wengine wanasema wali call you na police ama anything. Kuna wengine tu like somebody mtu unaweza mpigia simu mm. umwambie unataka akulete mm-hmm. but believe me hautaiona sura ya huyo mtu so hata uwezi point finger useme ni mtu fulani Kwa hiyo tunaleta kama jifunika Yes na utakuwa umetoa wapi namba yake <laughs> eh, mmoja wa, wa group lazima akuange na namba ya una deal na nani nani naingia na wewe So I kuanga ngumu kupata guns kwa street. Uh, at some point she jipata maybe mko kwa story na mada like tumeenda ulikuwa kwa gena ama ulikuwa na operate kiv yako first. Nilikuwa kwa group kwa gena. Kwa group. Mm-hmm. Group ya mtu ngapi? 12. 12. Yes. 12 mngetembea usiku. Si ndio madem ama pia wanaume both sex ndo wanza kutumia gun ni ku date uli date mwanaume ana hiyo area ama ndo gain confidence cuz you see now as a lady sivi ni wanaume tuna gain confidence na kujijaza aje sasa aiko a si ku date mtu yote mhm ni venye tu niliishi kwa street mi mwenye nika nikatengeneza group yangu So at some point I was the leader of a group. Mm. Yeah. Na 
Mimi haiko ngumu. I was a silent killer yes. But a bad person. Because mimi roho yangu ilikuwa imeishi na bitterness. So mimi si kwa hiyo lakitu kubwa ama kitu ndogo. Bitterness ni nini? <laughs> Mauchungu za kila wakati. Zimekostiwa na nini? Bitterness. Zimekostiwa na experience in rape. Because not once, not second, mm-hmm. nime experience rape. So mimi, actually, watu nilikuwa na hate, nilikuwa na hate men kabisa. Mini ngejipata nimeenda form na kuna mwanaume, uyo ndi ataumia. Si mwanamke. Because mimi, I always believe that awa na wake ndi wanapitia shida. Iyo ndi likuwa, nilikuwa nime set my mind if. I know it's hard to open up on some issues on a specific case or scenario but maybe without maybe uh, opening up that much maybe we get to party a scenario yeah like a time to get a place to put a family ko even even na even we still to wear ma to fanya even na even na even mashika without ata commission ni wapi ama vitu kai hizo Okay, uh nishaji pata in a place like that. Mm. Na mara nyingi wakati tulikuwa tunafanya wizi ukienda mahali uambie mtu akupe kitu akatai. Labda una option. Utamuua. Oh. Yes and baadaye unakuja ku regret. Utamuua by kudunga kisu ama by gun not in any way possible because hiyo ndio kitu hiyo ndio kitu sasa labda unajua kufanya mm-hmm. so it's possible unaweza uwa mtu na gun ama unaweza uwa mtu na kisu but after that you will una, utakuja to regret how to feel guilty like let's talk about myself uh mimi nilikuwa na regret because mimi si kwa nimezoea kuona mtu akikufa you regret at the same time kesho wa mke uendelee na the same mhm nikiona my nightmares zinanisumbua sana nachukua tu syringe na jitunga after that nitasahau nitaona life iko sawa mhm mm. so ni vitu zinafanyika kwa straight to the challenges zenye watu wana have it's like watu wanakuanga wamekubeba watu wamekuchukuaje unajua when someone talk about you utachukua hiyo kitu na ujieke without knowing mm, hii kitu ni mbaya ama ni mzuri so wizi kwa street watu wanasemanga kila choko shimizi but kila choko simizi so once umejipata kwa crime Mm-hmm. Ama mtoji yako imejipata kwa crime. Mm-hmm. Mtaekewa machokosho wote. At some point ushajipata kwa mob justice. Yes. What had happened? Ah, <laughs> uh, tulikuwa tumeenda kufanya tu vitu tulikuwa tumezoea tu kuiba somewhere and wengine wote walimalizwa but mimi nilikuwa tu shot kwa mgongo nilishutiwa tu kwa mgongo so when the society walikuja wakasema i'm not dead that's when nilijipata in a mob justice yani nilifanya mpaka nikajipata mochari because they thought i was dead but si kwa nimekufa uh, what happened is maiti kawaida huwa bleed lakini mtu atakufa ata bleed So mimi nilipatikana kwa mochari but si kwa nimekufa. I was still bleeding. Na my first move justice because nilikuwa nimeumia na risasi. Mhm. Haikunipata that deep. Mm-hmm. But iliniumiza. Kwa spinal cord. Na the same time nikapatana na move justice of which serikali ndio walini save. Na serikali kunisave walifikiria huyu sasa ameisha. Nikapelekwa mochari 
but i wasn't dead na because uh, kuna mtu alikuwa anajua kwetu mimi ni nani mm. so awaku ni attend size waliniacha tu hapo venye nilikuja kupata fahamu niliona wa niko mog nimelazwa na watu wamekufa nao wenye wamekufa nilikuwa nao tukienda kufanya sin mm. sasa nilichukuliwa tu nikafungwa but under treatment nimefungwa lakini natibiwa because hata wajui natoka wapi mimi ni nani lakini uh, at some point government hazikubali ukufe because mimi walinitibu but i was under arrest so as much as nilikuwa hospitali nilikuwa natumikia kifungo na nilikuwa nimefukungwa miaka tatu because wa kupata evidence ni uh, six months nikatolewa na because sina home bado nilirudi tu kwa street lakini nilipata the whole of my group wamekufa wote ndio hakuna wasali kuja ku raise kesi hakuna that's why niliachiliwa but kungekuwa na mtu angekuja kusimama na kesi labda ningefungwa maisha because kuna kuna watu wale lose life at that point because the group was shooting kwa polisi yes so kuna kuna watu waliumia mistakenly kuna watu walikufa kuna mm-hmm. watu waliumia so but hakukuwa na mtu mwenye alikuja kusimama kama ako na kesi yeah. so mimi nilifungwa tu na nikatibiwa na nikatoka ule muda mrefu sana ushajipata umeshikwa kwa kwa ndani mtunaji I was 17 years. 17 years. Yes. No na sema ile kushikwa kwa kwa ndani umekaa for how long? Ufungwa miaka ngapi ama miezi ngapi? Ama? Miaka mbili. Miaka mbili. Mm-hmm. Crime ilikuwa kwa nini? <laughs> crime ni juu nilipatikana tu na bunduki hata crime scene. Yes. Uh, kuna crime nilikuwa nimetumwa niende nifanye. Mm-hmm. So after that nilipatikana kwa crime na nilipatikana tu but i didn't kill that woman because hiyo ilifika wakati sina group so nimeenda nika join group ya Gaza Dandora mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so the group ndo wale nituma but si kuwa that woman because mtu akikufanyia vizuri inafaa unarudisha shukrani that woman once alinitibu Mm-hmm. at Mama Lucy hospital mm-hmm. so venye nilitumwa na nikafika nikapata ni yeye mm-hmm. hata sikuwa na hiyo courage ya kumuua no nilikuwa muue kwa nini i don't know the reason the group ndo alijua because mimi sasa mm, venye nilirudi nikapata watu wangu wote walikufa ilibidi nifanyie watu wengine kazi sasa nilikuwa nafanyia group nyingine kazi and mimi kwa hiyo group nilikuwa tu assassin Sikuwa na uliza singe uliza swali mbona nimetumwa ama mbona naenda kuwa huyo mtu but venye nilifika nikapata that woman namjua sikumfanyia kitoje but i just tell her to play dead mm-hmm. aliyai nitibu mm-hmm. that time wenye nilikuwa nimeshutiwa kwa mgongo mm-hmm. she was the doctor mwenye alikuwa anani attend mm-hmm. kunyosha wounds mm-hmm. so venye nilitumwa ni muoe si singepata hiyo courage because ndumepata ni mtu unajua yes okay ukamwambia sasa what happened utafanyaje na ushapewa kazi i just tell her to play the head na si waionekana yes because group yenye nitakuwa nafanyia kazi kama sio mimi watatuma mtu mwingine ulimlet uli ajue wale watu walikuwa wanataka kumua yes nilifanya tu ajue because nilimwambia reason yake ya kuuliwa ilikuwa iko gani actually i didn't know but the group walikuwa na shida na bwana yake sio yeye mm. yeah so, so in return walikuwa nataka kupunish bwana yake yes through because bwana yake ndiye alikuwa anafanya kazi na group okay sio yeye so that's the the scene yenye nishajipata nimefungwa mm-hmm. because mimi sikuhepa mm-hmm. nilibaki tu hapo 
the only thing nilifanya because nimeishi kwa street na nime train kama assassin mm. nilimfundisha tu venye atajifanya amekufa for the group wapate wapate news amekufa mm-hmm. but hajakufa you need daktari na kuna madamu mingi sana mm-hmm. you just need to una, yani mimi kuna kitu tu nilifanya na nikafanya aka play dead yes because as assassin hizo ni vitu wazinge nishinda hakusikie uoga unajua sasa mtu haujui anakuambia i wanted to kill you but i'm not here to kill you you know you're a human being yes it's a like i've just met you today mhm mimi sijui kama ushaniona mahali wewe pekee ndo unajua nishai kutibu just like you are saying it mhm doki mm. and uh, someone is here anakuambia you act dead mm-hmm. nita believe it that hautanipiga risasi oh, so uh, wakati alikuwa ananitibu aliniuliza na mbona umepigwa risasi mm. so we talked Mm-hmm. na akajua na nikamwambia mimi mimi mm-hmm. muizi mtaani mm-hmm. mimi sina kwetu mm-hmm. and tukakuwa marafiki mm-hmm. yes so hiyo tu siku nilimuelezea ah uh, alinielewa so nikampea tu dawa dawa yenye ingefanya i go in a deep a deep sleep yenye ukikuja kusikiza heartbeat hakuna but only for three hours. I dawa to come to wapi? Dawa. Ah, kwa group yenye nilikuwa nafanyia kazi all kind of drugs yenye ningetaka ningepata. Mungezinunua ama mungezitoa wapi? Then mm. Because Gaza was a group yenye mikubwa. Mimi singesema penye wanazitoa. Mm-hmm. But kila siku Mm-hmm. wangekuja na madawa tofauti mm-hmm. unapewa because vitu kama hizo ndo unaweza tumia mm-hmm. yes so it wasn't hard but hopefully the woman alinielewa na because niliai mwelezea mm-hmm. eh aka play to dead but mimi nilika and i was arrested kama tu kapele kwa nikapele kwa langata jia usoma pele kwa langata kwa crime gani mad mad uh-huh. muna kesi na nani sasa mwenye mkomo yuwe amekuli dead <laughs> na hata ile time wait hata ile time ulikuja kushikwa huu hmm. madam akisikia umeshikwa alimletu ku play dead yes because that was the agreement so hiyo incident na happen wapi ah uh, karibu na mama dusa Okay. Yeah, alikuwa na private hospital karibu na mama Lucy. Umepelekwa langata juu ya mada. Mm. Utafungwa miaka ngapi? <laughs> I was supposed hata kufungwa miaka 10. Mm. Lakini because nilipatikana tu na weapon mm. na haina risasi moja. Mm. They assume dio risasi because nilimchukulia tu damu nikamwagilia. Ni daktari so kwa na hizi damu. So nilichukua tu damu nikamwagilia kwa tumbo na venye nilimkat si kumkata that deep cut yenye na joy itamuumiza damu ilikuwa nayo ama ilikuwa nayo kwa hosi alikuwa nayo kwa hosi so mimi kitu nilifanya ni nilimkata tumbo mm-hmm. si deep yenye na joy itamuumiza mm-hmm. yani just to just to create something up ndio group waone yenyewe nimefanya kazi so hata nikishikwa mm-hmm. watasema tu alishikwa juu amefanya kazi yes so even venye nilijipata langata Nangata because hakukuwa na anyone mwenye alisimama na mimi kotini nilifungwa tu miaka mbili because nilikuwa na bunduki na ina license. Mm-hmm. Yes. So that was my longest time in jail. After kutoka jela mtakutana na umama. Sijai muona until today. Bonaki alijua what was happening. Yes, bonaki alijua and eventually mm. uh, alikufa in a car accident but that woman sijai muona until now any other incidents in uh, if if we can ask you know someone might ask mm. why is she coming out maybe to tell her story mm-hmm. you know that how does it feel do you feel like kuna wasi uliua na maybe hizo vitu zinakuhound 
zilifanyika the nightmares i always have the nightmares but the best way of healing ni kuongea like we are doing yes that's my best way of healing killing and stealing from other people was it a normal life then uh, ilikuja ikakuwa normal life ilikuwa normal life yes that ni dawa kama gani umetumia ah uh, nimetumia cocaine nimetumia bangi nimetumia heroin nimetumia glue zote mtazipata wapi ah si unazinunua mtaani unaona venye unastuka unashindwa huu ni falawa wapi <laughs> Ni venye utazipata mtaani ziko. It's cause mimi mm-hmm. they have been brought up I don't know where I can find them. But as according to you unashindwa kwa ni hiki nikia wapi? Hivi hivi kwa street si ngumu kupata. Kwa street si ngumu. Kwa street kuna mzee mtapata tu anaziuza mm. so unajua kwa ni mtoto ado uzinunue. Kimbali let me ask you ah uh, into this life tunakutana unasikia msali alipumbazwa akapeana do zote atajilewi kwa wapi mm. mwingine amelala tu kwa gari amefanya mambo amelala tu na ameibiwa tu kutoka mhm hizo dawa zinauzwa are, are they bought in a chemist are they bought from mortuary are they bought ama ni chemical mna mix kwa street hapana ni madawa tu wasemi leta kuuza sasa kama mchele. Mchele si common sana. Mchele ni kwa ni mchele ya kawaida cause that's the thing nataka kujua ama nikakitukua na kamchele kana yakangoa. Hapana. Nikachekele tu ni sawa tu. <laughs> si cheki kwa ubali venye una sound funny. <laughs> mchele ni dawa tu inakaa kaunga. But itafanya ulale. Hey Eh, uh-huh. na si ni dawa tu common. Wase wanaitumia huko kwa street so si hard kupata. Ukiwa na mia mbili umepata mchele so si kitu ngumu kupata. But ziko tu. So mchele si mchele yenye unapika unakula. Mchele ni dawa. Dawa tu common yes. as you put it. Ya unaona venye una put vizuri ati yana shindwa ifala ni wapi? <laughs> Ah fine. Sasa iko. Hey. Okay. Now, uh, all, when all this time and when all this is happening, it may kwa ndani miaka 2 mtoto kwa wapi? Ako kwa street. Alikuwa shaza ya maisha. Alikuwa shaza ya street so yeye yeah, ako tu. Na kitoka jela utampata. Si ndampata. Actually kwa street nilikuwa nimejenga kama nyumba ya karatasi. So all his life alijua hapa ndio nyumba yetu. So, amejifunza kutambaa hapo, kutembea, amejua kutembea kiwa hapo. So anajua hii ndio nyumba yetu. Sasa hata akitoka aenda kaina wale ma wa mama au mahoka mm-hmm. atarudi kulala wapi hapo ndani. So yani kwa shaza yake. Akiniona atahesabu amenioona. Zipo niona Nasema watu sawa wataendelea tu na maisha. Atenda tu kutafuta kwa street chakula na kule. Yes. Because even ndo venye mtoto wangu amesurvive. Kuokota chakula na kukula. Anaokota, labda anaweza enda kwa hizo mapipa, hizo mauteli, hizo ma wanampe zile mabakishi yeah. ama akikoza kabisa atafanya tu kuokota chakula. Yeah, shajua mama ameshikwa. Si alikuwa anajua tu hata akijua kuongea amejua kuongea akisemanga mamangu ameshikwa because alikuwa anaona tu kama si kanju ni polisi kanju because kanju kanju kawaida wanashikanga tu watu kwa street ushai kwa involved in drug selling bangi tu bangi mhm utaificha wapi sinyeshebe isionekane usishikwe nayo bangi. Okay, sorry. Utani utaniwia tu radhi juu maswali zingine nauliza labda koko. Kiwewe. Ah, don't worry. Bangi ungeirap tu vizuri, mm. unaiingiza ndani ya nguo. Yes, ama ndani ya viatu. Ama ndani ya socks. Na 
utatembea tu vizuri haita nishewa he ni mta gani ndio gani mlikuwa mna terrorize sana i believe actually mimi ile mta anajulikana sana in siji kama hata anaweza rudi kuishi kwa because watu wakimwona wataona trap ni dandora mm. yes dandora i was the most wanted girl na raia na polisi na na sasa hizo mimi kadogo hata polisi walikuwa nasema sasa uvivu but 2017 i was the most wanted girl dandora wakiniita ghost girl because wananijua lakini wakiniona leo hawataniona mwezi but crime itakuwa nafanya ha huh? at some point did you find yourself ni umejua na mapolisi ama mm, mimi na polisi tulikuwa umbwa na paka tu kwa ipatana because <laughs> atemi yuda utaongea na mtu mm. akwambie hizi uh, vitu kwa nafanya tu karao karao alikuwa aware what you are doing ungarushia kitu kidogo and life moves on i've never done that i've never make a deal with a policeman before mm. yes. uh, at some point tumekuwa tukisikia stories za dandora wezi wameuliwa mm. uh, kayole watu wameuzimiwa mm-hmm. ni mara kama ngapi umeenda na wasee wame, wameuliwa na una una escape We? Uh, kuna polisi moja alikuwa anajua um, if you can remember wakati wa Ezi. Mhm. Ezi alifika na Ezi alijua who is the ghost girl. Alimjua. Mm-hmm. Lakini wasio wa mtaani wako anajua. So yeye yeah, alikuja tu akanipea onyo. Akaniambia atauwa wase ninafanya nao kazi. Nisipo change. Mm-hmm. And I was like sasa wewe ni nini imekutuma kwangu? Actually nilikuwa na mbongesho tu vibaya. Kwa nini? sasa because mimi sitaki kukuwa suspect na yeye anajua so siku moja alikuja akaniambia najua wewe ndio ghost girl mwenye tunatafuta and if you don't change utakufa so marafiki wangu wote walikuwa wanauliwa mimi nakuwa tu hivi nasikia fulani amekufa na endelea kumsabu until nikabaki peke yangu sasa sina rafiki the group yenye nilikuwa nayo all dead. Watu wanakufa. Yes. So ni mabadi tu. Ni mimi tu kwa group. Unatoka anakufa wa kwanza unaenda mazishi unakuja unaendelea. Eh, so mpaka ikabidi wase wakaamua kunichorea. Wanasema mimi naendanga na watu wanakufa mimi narudi. Ukapata ikafika mahali sasa sina rafiki. Hawakufikiria ati wewe maybe wao unauzanga wanakufa. Wale fikiria hivyo wakanitoa kwa madils because mimi nikienda siumi sana na umia tu kidogo mm-hmm. wengine wanakufa so ungenipata mtaani mimi nawachangia mazishi so ikabidi ai wasee wakasema hapana huyu ndiye anamzanga wenzetu mm-hmm. but it wasn't true mimi sijui venye ilikuwa ina happen but mimi nilikuwa na rudi tu safe okay So life itakuwa iku, ikujaje? Life. Baadaye. <laughs> It got too hard because I have to survive. So, mimi ni ready to nikakata au. Nikaamua kuendelea na kuishi na mtoto wangu kwa ile karatasi yetu venye alikuwa amezoea. By the oldest time nilikuwa nimemwacha tu. Eh yako tu. Ameendelea anga tu kugro. So, nilirudi tu town kaendelea na maisha yangu because now in Dandora sina rafiki mm-hmm. and at the same time sina familia the only family niko nayo ni mtoto wangu na ninamchukia hiyo wakati eh nilikuwa nikimuona tu hivi nakumbuka hiyo siku so siku nitaka kumuona mtoto yes unamchukia kwa nini si nilikuwa namchukia jo venye nimempata nilikuwa namchukia by that time not now now ukitaka kukufa haraka uguze watoto wangu lakini sijawapata na njia nzuri venye nilirudi kwa street i decided to change my life because kila mtu kwa kwa street amekufa wenye nilikuwa nimezana nao kuimba nao nikaamua kubadilisha maisha yangu 
na kulikuwa na kijana hapo kwa street tukajuana na tukaamua kuishi pamoja of which yeye alikuwa pia anauza madawa mm-hmm. remember bado tumetoka kwa street but at least yeye yeah, ako na nyumba mm-hmm. hata kama ni nyumba na iko huko ghetto karibu na mto mm-hmm. but at least ako na shelter so i decided to change my life at least nikuwe na shelter mm-hmm. na nikapata mtoto mwingine hapa ni kwa leo umeolewa ama ni ume choose ume decide sasa tu ni kuolewa ama ni ku choose but nilikuwa na issue na mwanaume kwa nyumba alikuwa tu kijana but kazi yake ilikuwa ni kuuza madawa za kulevya cocaine tu anatembeza kwa street okay. kwa hizo ma street families mm-hmm. so why kile maana venye nilimwambia niko na mimba mm-hmm. aku kuwa mimi nilikuwa najua tena so life ika change once nikabadilika mm-hmm. tena nikakuwa tu sasa sina kwangu kuzuri mm. sina penye naweza enda tena ah uh, nilikaa hapo mpaka penye nilijifungua hata kama alikuwa ananifanyia matarabu si mimi najua kuwa so naenda dampe mm-hmm. na naokota vitu zangu hizo magunia hizo makaratasi na kuza na osha naenda nauza mm-hmm. so nikajua tu mimi nilikuwa na vyo kusurvive nikitoka dampe jioni akikuja akikataa kuniendelesha ama akataa kunipea pesa za kula mimi na mtoto wangu tutakula ah ilifika mahali ikakuwa wasi because kuna penye naweza fika ushindwe kuchukua tena so i decided to leave the house nikarudi kwa ile nyumba yangu ile sasa Nilirudi kwa hapo kwa nyumba yangu mtoto wangu akiwa na mwezi mbili na niko na mtoto mwingine. Mhm. So na rizo watoto wili na bado niko kwa street. Kukinyesha tutajifunika tu karatasi tunalala. Usiku ikifika that was our life. Ah uh, last time wakati nilikuwa nimeshikwa nilikutana na pastor fulani mm-hmm. gerezani mm-hmm. na alinifunza. But mimi si kwa take the word serious because nilikuwa naona mapasi mm, wanafanana mm-hmm. na mapasi wanakwanga waongo at some point so si kwa take the words serious nikaamua tu mimi nitajaribu tu kufikiria pole pole so wakati life ilinifikisha nimeanza ku regret because now sina group yoyote nafanyia kazi nikaanza kupata nightmares i can't even sleep yani nakaa hivi nikifunga hivi macho naona zile vitu zote nilifanya wale watu washaikufa nikiangalia so haikuwa easy for me tena ndio niliamua sasa at least kuanza kuomba nilijua kuomba wakati life ilifika mahali si yenye ita life tena mm-hmm. yes na nika decide nataka ku change life yangu but still the society hawakuwa yamini nataka kuchange maisha yangu walikuwa naniona wanaona ule mwizi so nika join sex workers time mm-hmm. mm-hmm. kwa nafanya kazi as a sex worker sasa mm-hmm. na hata watoto wangu wamelala mm-hmm. naenda town kwa clubs nikirudi mimi ni levi watatu hii sex worker ni sex working utaifanya Pure ni sex working ama itakuwa ni ukora imefichwa. <laughs> no. Mimi you know, nilikuwa nafanya sex working nikisema watoto wangu lazima wakule. Ana ungepata wanaume? Yes. Tao. Sina nunu watu nguo na ninavaa vizuri na ninaenda kwa club. Ungesimama kwa street ama ungewa seduce kwa club? Hapana ningeenda tu kwa club. Wa seduce. Mhm. Unge ungepata you know a sex worker ungepata wanaume kama wangapi with in a day uh, because mimi si kwa naangalia that big range mm-hmm. mm, hata watatu na nikunywe pombe zangu na nirudi nilale na watoto wangu so si hata nilikuwa nafanya ukora kwa club nafanya <laughs> tu Yani because that was the only way yenye niliona this is how now I can survive because kwa street was chana wengi waliishi kuniambia eh unashinda kumeka hapa njana watoto twende form so 
form ni sex working unaenda kwa street kwa club usiku unafanya hiyo kazi unarudi kuangalia watoto but si far because still bado tunaka tutao so ikafika tu mahali nikachoka na sex working mimi na nikaamua kurudi dampe niliona ile dumping kuliko sex worker mm-hmm. yes nikarudi dampe nikaendelea tu kuokota machupa zangu na nikaendelea kusurvive but life haikuwa rahisi because niko na watoto mm-hmm. na sina nyumba mm-hmm. na my first born ya shazo ya kuokota food so asipo niona o ata survive Actually by first born ndi amerez the second born na ukikaona bado ni katoto but alikuwa anafanya hivyo juu ameona venye mimi na kuanga na kwanga mlevi 24/7 madawa pombe so hakuwa itarajia mimi naweza lea mtoto na hiyo time bado na stay kwa street kule kwa street uh, kuna ile worst case scenario yenye ulipata kwa experience ya maybe ya uh, when doing sex work Many cases ukifanya ukifanya sex working unapata ukipata mwanaume mm. ana good intentions na wewe. So unapata ye venye anafikiria sio venye wewe umefikiria. Mm. Yeah and that's why unapata cases mingi zinakuwa kwa street unapata msichana ameuliwa kwa room. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amu unaweza enda na mwanaume na akatai kukupea do. Mm amwe kukuchapa. Mm. Vitu kama hizo zinafanyika. So unapata mara nyingi uko na madens. Okay. Yeah. And that's why inafika wakati kuna prefer either or when the two done pay because the pay kuna mtu atakuchapa than ukifanya sex working na msia na kuchapa na nafaa kukulipa. Item ulikuwa unafanya sex working ulikuwa unatumia protection. Uh, not all the sex worker wanatumia protection mm. but every time everywhere unaenda mm. utapata ukienda kwa room mzee atakupea tissue na atakupea protection mm. but utapata mwanaume mmefika kwa room mm. mkaanza kubishana atai kutumia protection yeah wewe unataka atumie protection yeye mm. ataki kutumia so utapata amekuchapa amu unapata hata rape cases zinaoka kwa sex workers because huma na huma amekata kuva protection mm. atalala na wewe cha nguvu so mm. zilikuwa zinaoka so uh, utakujaje overcome uachana na hiyo story ya sex working ah ku make decision tu ni rahisi na lingana na akili ya mzee una make two decision but mahali umekuwa ukipata dough unajua sasa kama ni mali upati dough mm. inakuwa ni hard sana kuacha uh, kwangu kwangu haikuwa hiyo ngumu hivyo mm. yes because nimepita kifo mara nyingi na wakati nilianza kujielewa ama kujijua nilikuwa na wish kitu moja mm. nisikufe kama sijaifanya kitu poa kwa hii life. Ama nisikufe niache watoto wangu watezeke. Okay. Because venye nilizaa second born nilizaa msichana. So akili zangu zilikuwa kama mimi nimekuwa raped na mimi mtu mzima. Si nilikuwa najiita si mimi mtu mzima. Eh. Sasa akili zangu zilikuwa zile za nimekuwa raped na mimi ni mtu najielewa. Na huyu mtu tena nimeza nikamwacha kwa street life yake itakuwaaje. Hata nikienda kufanya sex working akili yangu ilikuwa anga na mtoto wangu akwaje. So mimi singe kesha kwa club. Ningefika saa 8 nirudi niangalie watoto wangu. Hapo ndio sasa nilianza kukuwa na heart au watoto is not their fault. Na nikabadilisha mind na nikabadilisha yani actions kwa uso. Mm-hmm. Yes. Sasa nikaamua tu mimi nitakuwa nafanya kitu kulea watoto wangu. So, leo hii unafanya nini? Ah, leo hii. Hmm. <laughs> leo hii nafanya tu ka biashara kadogo hmm. ya kuuza mikate. Hmm. Yes, because wakati nilirudi kwa street nilipata na Msa Maria Mwema. Hmm. Ali aliamua tu kunitafutia shelter. Hmm. Ya 
she is a pastor mm-hmm. ni mwanamke na uko na kanisa mm-hmm. so alilitoa kwa street na watoto wangu mm-hmm. akatutafutia nyumba penye tunaishi mm-hmm. na akatufungulia kazi hata kama ni kidogo but mimi naona na, na survive yes uh, na uza tu nikate kando ya barabara hivi nimeweka juu ya crate na uza hivi so hiyo ndio kazi inafanya wow. sasa hivi wow um, you know hiyo pato msema mwisho na uza mikate kwa barabara kando na barabara uh-huh. uh, that one is a very crucial thing na ni kitu naweza sema mimi ndio nafurahia sana kusikia kuna kitu kwa hiyo unafanya kwa sababu not many ladies mm. wanaweza kubali kufanya such job kwa nini um, today society uh, watu wengi bado wengi wote kufanya such job and all that but for you just because of the experience you've had mm-hmm. maybe because of time ninge kupea nafasi kuangalia ile camera mm. and maybe you talk to Kenyans kwambie maybe i don't know whether you can apologize to wale maybe uliumiza mm. kwa hiyo life kuna wale maybe utafeel udema litukosea sana ama kuna wale utafeel umewasaidia sana mshika mm-hmm. to some parents mm-hmm. also talk to parents talk to ladies and if also you go ahead and maybe speak on your behalf if there is any help you would want Kenyans to help you or anyone who is watching this story to help you in any kind of support meet be financially job wise to yana watu wanasoma hawajaenda shule kwa nini? Ah, uh, sijakuwa able kuwapeleka shule. Talk to them then. <laughs> Ongelesha watu pale. Okay, so, nitaanza na ule maybe uta watch a video mm-hmm. na niliai kukukosea. Mhm. Ningekuomba mm-hmm. unisamee tu. Mm-hmm. Maana najua labda uliona sura yangu na ukaona hii sura mm-hmm. iliai kukukosea in one way or the other. Mm-hmm. Labda niliai kukunyang'anya kitu yako ama niliai kukukosea maana hata maongezi yangu haikuanga mazuri. Mm-hmm. So ningekuomba kama uko pale nje na utaochi video mm-hmm. na niliai kukukosea mm-hmm. unisamee sana. Mm-hmm. Naomba unisamee. Na kwa wale wasichana wenye wako kwa street mm-hmm. ningekuomba kama uko pale kwa street na utaochi video mm-hmm. please chagua njia mzuri. Mm-hmm. Because mimi I count myself lucky mm-hmm. juu nilitoka kwa street mm-hmm. bila maradha madhara yoyote mm-hmm. ama maradhi yoyote mm-hmm. sikupata ugonjwa wote mm-hmm. lakini ni venye tu niliamua ku choose decision nzuri mm-hmm. ningekuomba kama wewe ni mwanadada na uko hapo nje mm-hmm. uko kwa street mm-hmm. unaona sex working ndio best option mm-hmm is not the best option because wasichana wako huko nje wanauliwa kwa hizi marooms mm-hmm. ama unapata wana wanarepiwa vibaya ama wanabakwa vibaya mm-hmm. unapata ukitoka hapo umepata ugonjwa mm-hmm. ama umepata mimba mm-hmm. na hauna hata nyumba mm-hmm. uh, ingine ningeweza kuogelesha wale vijana mm-hmm. wako pale nje kwa street ningekuambia crime does not pay. Mm-hmm. Crime is not the way mm-hmm. yenye tunafaa kuenda mm-hmm. tukifanyia watu. Mm-hmm. Ya yeah, unafaa tu kuchoose kama ni dampe. Mm-hmm. Baki tu dampe, uombe tu Mungu hiyo dampe ikulipe. Lakini si lazima ufanye crime ndio usafaye. Because vijana wengi pale kwa street wana depend kwa dumping sites mm-hmm. ya yeah, wakati machupa zimemwagwa pale wanaokota hizo ma plastic, ma boxes ningekuomba tu jua tu ku survive na kuokota chupa maybe god will come through siku moja utajipata mahali yes na kwa mimi binafsi mimi nashukuru tu Mungu mm. nimetoka kwa street mm. saa hii niko mahali mm. ya yeah, hata kama sijafika mahali mm-hmm. lakini nimefika mahali naweza sema niko mahali mm-hmm. maana saa hii mimi niko na nyumba Mm-hmm. niko able kulea watoto wangu ingawa mm-hmm. watoto wangu wajaenda shule juu sijakuwa na hiyo uwezo mm-hmm. yenye mimi ninaweza somesha watoto mm-hmm. lakini nilichoose injia juu hakuna mtu tunasumbuana naye mm-hmm. na nilichoose kuuza mikate wakati huyo mama aliniuliza na kimbali ni kazi gani utafanya mm-hmm. 
nikamwambia mama ile tu kazi yote utanifungulia mm. na akaniambia na mimi sijajiweza sana mm. kwa hivyo alichungua alichukua shilingi yake 1000 mm-hmm. akaninunulia mikate crate moja na hiyo crate moja mm. a, nikapewa nafasi mahali tu padogo naweka hiyo crate naweka mikate juu nauza Wow. Yes, mimi nauza mikate moja 50 bob. Mm. Kwa hivyo utanipata tu kila jioni ama kila asubuhi mm. naweka mikate zangu hapo tuko barabara. Mtu anachukua 50 bob akienda. Labda ungewaambia unauzia wapi kwa sababu kuna watu wangetaka kukusupport pale. Kuna mtu wangetaka pia kuongezeka stock, unaweza wapia namba ya simu pia. Mm. I'm sure kuna watu pale vya nashindwa nitaanza wapi? Mimi ungetaka pia wakuongeleshe. Mm-hmm. Uwa unaweza wapia such idea. Mm-hmm. Unaweza wekelea mikate pale kwa sababu pia mimi umenipea idea wacha nikwambie. <laughs> Nimekuwa na watu wengi sana wakimbe kwa kinuliza. Mm-hmm. Uh, nini naweza fanya? I- I'm sure we have someone who is watching there. Mm-hmm. Na kuna mtu anaweza support na ajua anaweza anza wapi. Mm-hmm. Umenipea hiyo idea ya like anaweza nunua mikate. Si lazima kuja uzie mali mnauzia. Mm-hmm. Anaweza uzia mali pengine mm-hmm. na ida wapate food ya jioni. Yes. yes. Uh, mkate moja utanunua na 42 bob. Mhm utaiuza 50 bob mm-hmm. so unaamua tu kupata hii 8 bob unauzia wapi mimi nauzia pale Kayole hapo mm-hmm. Dawabu primary mm-hmm. yeah na ikatua tu crate yangu mm-hmm. nauza ikifika jioni mm-hmm. siwezi kosa 250 ama 150 but is a decent work because mm-hmm. hakuna mtu mnasumbua na yes. so i prefer niuze mikate nirudi kwa nyumba wapati namba yako ya simu Ah uh, namba yangu ya simu ni 0790 mm-hmm. 61 mm-hmm. 81 mm-hmm. 61 mm-hmm. yes so mm-hmm. 0790 mm-hmm. 61 mm-hmm. 81 61 jina gani kwa Mpesa Ah uh, jumi mwenyewe sina ID mimi mm-hmm. nimetoka kwa street mm-hmm. so italeta jina Alan huyo ni brother yangu tumeelewa mm-hmm. na huyu mama mm-hmm. so tunasaidiana tu okay yeye alimchukulia line Mm. lakini sasa hii ile kazi nafanya mm. nafanya counseling mm. also mm. pia kwa vijana wa street mm-hmm. yeah because ninge prefer sana ningetamani sana mm. kama wewe ni msichana na umepitia nje ni umepitia mm. ninge kupea counseling ama kama wewe ni msichana unaona uliai repiwa because repu zinatokana mpaka kwa familia zetu mm. you don't about the kid mm. mimi sasa hii i'm proud of my family i'm mm. proud of my kids because au watoto ndo wananipea mutisha mm-hmm. hata ya kuuza hiyo mikate mm-hmm. yeah so still you can be a bad girl and mimi nambianga vijana kila kitu inafanyika na sababu singepitia hiyo njia mm-hmm. singekuwa ushuhuda mm-hmm. kwa vijana wa leo kwa hivyo wow. nilipitia hapo na kijana naweza mcancel ni mwambie hii ndio njia yenye mimi nilichukua mm-hmm. na hapa ndio nilikuwa wow. yes so i do counseling mm-hmm. I'm a motivational speaker. Mm. And right now uh, people call me apostle mm. because wakati mchana mimi nauza mkate asubuhi na jioni. So mchana mm. natembea kwa street ni kiubiri. Wow. Lakini naubiri kwa street kids mm-hmm. because I know what they are going through. Okay. Yes. Wow. Hiyo ndo story ya Kimbali. Najua mmeweza kuipokea pale na tunashukuru God. Kimbali betu pia namba yake ya simu na ningetaka kuomba anyone who is watching this channel kindly let's support Kimberly so that watoto wake pia waweze kusoma i'm sure kama kawaida keep telling you more let easy story ndo tuweze kusoma we learn one to tuone the other side of life ilikuwa namna gani pia mimi nimesoma kuna vitu kuna uliza hapa Kimberly anacheka kwa sababu ashindwa hii fala ime grow wapi huyu mtu amesoma wapi ajui vitu zingine kwa sababu kwake ilikuwa ni life ya kawaida kwangu mimi na wewe ama wengine wenu hatukujua zile vitu uh, but all in all it's always good to give someone a chance Kimberly amejiongea hapa na ameomba msamaha if in any chance mshaikutana kwa kona mbaya by any chance ashaikutana na wewe ama mshaitukana na in any way she is now transformed it's always good to support her kindly let's support Kimberly in any way you feel you can support her either by words even financially Naweza furia sana next time nikutana na Kimbali akiniambia kuna mama mwingine ama kuna jamaa mwingine ajitokeza akaniongeza crates mbili ama crates tatu. Sasa inauza mikate na biscuit, sasa inauza hii na hii na naweza kuwa ya furaha sana. Naweza furahi sana nikutana na Kimbali akiniambia pia watoto sahi wako shuleni. Just because of me and you who is watching this story. Let's make 
uh, let's support her, let's make things work, let's uh, support her just because she decided to transform. Let's help her so that she won't even think of turning back and do the things she used to do. From this channel, we love you so much. And if it's your first time here tuning in, kindly make sure you've subscribed to this channel. You've hit the notification bell so that each and every time we upload a video, you'll be notified. Also, if you have a story to share, kindly make a point of calling my number. It has been on your screen all through. Tumia vizuri ni pigie simu, tuonge, tukai chini, tusikize story yako, and maybe we transform someone from this beautiful country of us. So, my good name is Jeffa C, a.k.a. Mwangi Mutoni. Until next time, may God bless you, may God see you. See you.